Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. And Merry Christmas. This is evening prayer for Saturday, December the 24th, Christmas Eve. The scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse 1 to 18, and Luke chapter 1, verse 67 to 80. And now please join me in singing the first verse of Angels from the Realms of Glory. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flight o'er all the earth. Ye who sang creation story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah! I will sing of your mercies forever, and I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Hallelujah! Psalm 89, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah! I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations, for I know that your love is forever and you establish your faithfulness in the heavens. I've made a covenant with my chosen. I've sworn to David, my servant. Your dynasty I will establish forever and build up your domain to all generations. And the heavens shall praise your wonders, your faithfulness in the congregation of the saints. For who in heaven can be compared to you? Who among the children of the mighty can be likened to you? You are greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be held in reverence by all about. O most high God of hosts, who is like you? Your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the stormy sea. You still the raging waves. You have broken Rahab in pieces, and you have scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and also the earth, the world, and all that is in it, for you have founded them. The north and the south have you created. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand. High is your right hand. Justice and righteousness are the foundations of your throne. Mercy and truth go before you. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk in the light of your countenance. In your name shall they rejoice all the day, and in your righteousness they shall be exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might shall be exalted. For you are our defense. The Holy One of Israel is our ruler. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I will sing of your mercies forever, and I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, beginning at verse 67. And then John's father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up, for, uh, he has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear 
in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We sing of your love, O tender God, and we proclaim your faithfulness forever. May we ever walk in your holy presence and rejoice every day in your righteousness and favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.